Hi, today I'm going to show you a little bit about what you'll be receiving once you sign up for the Math Teacher Coach Community. Um, once you first sign up, you'll be redirected to our training page or our Start Here page. This is just where we show you how to set up your profile and how to navigate the forms and how to use different things. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail with that because I don't want this video to get too long. But let's just go ahead down through the sidebar. You'll notice that you see My Courses. So if you click on My Courses, you'll be able to see what courses that you have signed up for. And we have points and things that we give away awards, and it'll show you your friends. So it's kind of like a social media, like a Facebook type thing. Um, and you'll get banners and things for different uh, lessons that you complete or tasks that you achieve. So as you can see right here, I'm signed up for the geometry course, and I've completed 2% of it. Okay. Uh, next, you'll see the My Notes section. This is really cool. Um, this is a tool that you can use. So you can see here are, are all my notes from the different lessons that I've taken. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about that once we look at the actual courses. We have teacher forms where you can communicate with other teachers depending on what class you teach, what grade level you teach. We have it broken up into great detail so you can ask each other questions, share documents with each other, and whatever you see fit in the forums. We have groups where you can group teachers with each other. So we have you know, a group for Algebra 1. These are my groups. So you can see a group for Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, all the different courses. You, we, you can group by state. You can uh, send friend requests to each other and communicate with other teachers that are in your same, maybe even county if you wanted to. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you'll see you have notifications, so if somebody sends you a message, you'll notice that everybody's assigned their, with their username a little at symbol. So mine is at MTC coach, so anytime somebody puts at MTC coach in any type of message or anything inside the members area, you'll get a notification or that person will get a notification saying that someone is trying to communicate with them, which is kind of cool too. Your inbox, this is where your messages are housed, so you can see the messages um, that I have in my inbox, uh, your friends. So you can see it said I had one new friend request. I got a notification for it. Um, we just could have um, however many friend requests that you receive. I got a lot. Um, your profile, this is where you can change and update your information, set your bio. You can see what's happening. So there's like an activity feed or a news feed like in Facebook. So you can click on your news feed. Um, set up your profile, you can change your cover photo, you can access the forums, your groups, all of that stuff. You can access your billing information and whatever else you might need to do with your profile. Uh, you can also see um, what members or however many members. You can get a hold of different members, so you can send them friend requests, things like that. Okay, but let's get into why everybody's joining. It's to save time in planning for your math classes. So let's take a look at the actual content that you'll receive on top of those things inside the math teacher community. So I'm just going to click on the geometry course here and we will go to let's before we start let's take a look at this because this is really cool. This is what I was talking about earlier with the take notes tool. Um, you can actually take notes, type in whatever you want, save them, send them to Word documents, whatever. So you can copy and then and name them whatever you want. You hit save, you can print them, you can save them as PDF and you can resize this. This also works on a mobile device, your iPad or your phone. Um, but what it does is you can copy and paste anything from the forums or any lesson that you see. You can copy and paste any worksheet into here and save it and print it. So, you, so if you want to edit something real quick, instead of going in, opening the document, you'll see what I mean later, but instead of going in, opening the document, you just open the My Notes tool and you can do it all on the same screen. So you don't have to have Word open and all of those other things, which is really powerful because you can do things a lot faster that way. And that's what we're all about is saving teachers time. So I'm going to go ahead and leave, close this for right now. As you can see, uh, you'll have your curriculum maps. You can access the pacing guides for each of the courses where we lay it out step by step. And our lessons are all built for a anywhere from a 30 to a 90 minute block schedule. Um, the, just depending on you know what your school setup is, you'll have plenty of resources for everything. So you, as you can see in here, I have already completed the geometry course review guide and final exam. So you can see that I marked those as complete. I'm done with that. And that's where that 2% came from. Okay, so let's take a look at a lesson that I have not completed. So let's just go to unit one here. And I can drop down and a geometry basics is the name of the first unit. You can click and look at the projects that we have for this unit. So we have, I believe, yep, two different projects. 
inside this unit so you can open up the documents for the rubrics and whatever for those projects but let's just go into a regular lesson so unit one geometry basics and let's go to the very first lesson which is one one nets and drawings for visualizing geometry once you open it you'll see your uh, video for the lesson then you scroll down and you'll see your we give you an assignment and everything we give you is a teacher's edition that's the TE's a student edition and we give them both in a printable version which you can open real fast on your computer and then we give you the word document too it's a doc it's a docx file actually so it'll open in in any of your uh, devices it will open up documents so um, word or pages or whatever or google uh, docs whatever it is that you use all of our fonts are google friendly so you won't have any formatting issues depending on which of the three that you use so let's go ahead and take a look at an assignment here uh, the assignments are anywhere from 10 to 20 questions and they are based on the lesson that you'll be teaching for the day uh, we give you the this is a teacher's edition so you can see the answers on there but so there's a look at an assignment our bell work is anywhere from five to ten questions this is something that you give at the beginning of the period just as a quick little review from the lesson from the day before so you can see this one's five questions it's got a couple multiple it's got multiple choice some of them are extended response some of them are uh, fill in the blanks just depends they're just something quick to, to refresh on what you did the day before the exit quiz this is a little quiz at the end of the lesson each day to test for mastery to make sure that they got what you wanted them to get so these again are five to ten questions just depending on the lesson and they're just to show that the students grasp the main topics of what they were supposed to get for the day your guided notes um, you'll you're, you have student edition teacher edition let's open a guided notes here these are aligned to the PowerPoint presentation too so you'll the kids will receive this this is what you'll send to the kids or give the kids to um, use in class to take notes on and that was a student edition this is a teacher's edition so the teacher's editions are filled in um, it's up to you whether you use the slideshow or the teacher's edition of this but they are directly aligned so the same questions that are on the guided notes are actually in the slideshow too so if you open up the slideshow you'll see that it has the same uh, content just laid out nicer basically so that you can project it up on your smart board or whatever whatever it is that you use in your class but um, they are directly aligned with the guided notes and then we also give you a lesson plan this is the cool part because a lot of administration wants a lesson plan for every day so you won't have to actually make these things we give them to you they're editable they're already aligned to the standards and all you have to do is follow the lesson plan for the day and then your online activities this is just extra stuff that you can use so maybe you have a student that needs a little bit more help so we give you direct links to Khan Academy or just other things other activities assignments videos that we think could help those kids that needed a little bit extra um, just to reassure that they grasp what they were supposed to grasp for the day so as you can see in the sidebar you also have everything over here it's easily accessible uh, one more thing let's go through and and here is a really cool part too so if you click on this search bar up here and type in let's just say nets which is what the lesson was on for the day if you type in nets it will bring up everything that we have on nets okay so we, there's one lesson on nets it's not a very big topic so let's pick one let's just type in the word multiply and see what happens if I type in the word multiply you'll notice that there are tons of lessons that have to do with multiplication. We have multiplying and dividing integers, solving equations with multiplying and dividing. So there's a ton of different lessons from the different courses, but you can find them right away. So maybe you're just looking for a quick, um, I just need a worksheet for a sub because my kid got sick and I have to leave early. Some, something crazy comes up, whatever it is. You just type in whatever the topic is for the day and you can find something and print it real quickly, you know, straight out of there. So really cool that's a look in that's a very basic look these the community is very powerful there's a lot of things that you can do as you can see over here um, you can access all of your stuff over here as well we have holiday activities depending on what the holiday is so we have Christmas activities Pi Day activities just all kinds of stuff and they're broken down by courses and things so you see geometry pre algebra do that's it so I hope to see everyone inside again if you have any questions you can click on the quickest way to get your answers is to click on the live chat in the corner thanks for checking us out I hope to see everybody inside again if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us through the live chat that's definitely the quickest way to get answers